hey guys welcome back to my channel and uh, today I thought uh, I'll do this look because I was anyway going for a wedding and I was gonna get dressed so I thought why not film that and kind of let you all see how I actually do my um, uh, minimalistic makeup if I may say so um, so this is something which I have achieved uh, without foundation it's very dewy as you can see mm, I have a very dry skin so I kind of avoid uh, I'm, I'm not sure I, I don't know what's this I have with foundation not that uh, I'm against people using it or nothing of that sort it's just that I don't use it so I just use uh, kind of um, general uh, serums for minimizing the pore and cream you'll see the whole uh, drill uh, once I start doing that and uh, so I thought let me record this and uh, let me know what you think and uh, let's just jump into the actual video where I get ready in. hope you enjoy it to start my makeup I'm first using the Glam Glow uh, Super Serum. Uh, this is uh, this is something a serum which kind of uh, minimizes your pores. So I'm first going with this, and when I'm doing my eyeshadow and things like that, I'll kind of zoom you in so that you could you could have a better view of what I'm doing on my eyes. So I'm just going to take a pump. On my forehead and just rub it in and I have I did my eyebrows already because that would be kind of repetitive um, there's a video on how I do my eyebrows so I thought I didn't want to repeat that bit over here so so this kind of it sort of minimizes the pores what I have applied just now I kind of wait for it to settle down a little bit usually that's the time I'll kind of do my eyebrows so I'll give it two minutes and uh, the next thing I'm going to use is this uh, Tatcha it's a product by Tatcha the dewy skin cream I'm just going I use it for special occasions and things basically it gives the face a very dewy look it kind of looks like this it comes with a spatula on top so that you don't have to put your finger in i'm going to put my finger in just take i'm just going to take that much and uh, i'm just going to dab a little bit it gives a very dewy look if you're a fan of dewy look this cream will do wonders for you So if you notice, it's given one sort of a very dewy, don't think this is oily, but it's a very dewy skin. So let's just next uh, move to the eyes and uh, this is where I'm going to zoom you in. I have to, I have narrowed down on two palettes over here. I have the Huda Beauty uh, Desert Dusk palette and I also narrowed down on this naked uh, Urban Decay's Naked Cherry Palette. I'm, I don't color coordinate my eyeshadows too much because if you notice my eyes are pretty small and I have hooded eyes. So I have very little lid space that I can work on. So whatever I can do, I have to do it in that little lid space. So um, I'm thinking I will kind of dabble between the two palettes because um, this bit of a pink and things so I'm going to dabble between the two and at this stage I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so now that we are up close I'll just tell you what I'm going to do there is uh, if you see the Huda Beauty palette there is this a shade called the desert stand sand so this is something oh, you could just apply it all over sometimes you you do have a little bit of darkness on the eye this will kind of take away that darkness and any other shade you apply over it 
will kind of stand out and that's pretty much what i'm going to do i may not able to look this way i know but i'm going to hold the camera and um, you'll be able to see what i am doing yeah i'm taking this shade it's more like a very beigey tone and i'm i'm covered i'm kind of putting it all over my lid so if there is any discoloration on my eyelid it sorts of takes care of that and any other shade i put over it will be seen well so if you notice if there's there was a little bit of darkness and it kind of concealed a little bit you can always go for an eye primer or something like that but i'm not doing any eye primers now so i just did that lighter shade all over that and now i'm going to take uh, take the shade called uh, amber over here or i'm thinking amber or saffron between these two hmm i think i'll go with saffron so i'm just going to take it on the same brush for eye shadows it's always better to go light first you can always build it up but if you take too much of eye shadow at the first instance it will be too much to blend so i'll go take little little and keep blending it and building up the color depending on how i want it so i'm taking this shade called saffron and i'm kind of and because of my small eyes i'm just going to pull the ends up like that and because of the hooded eyes as well i'm taking the eye shadow slightly not as far as my brow bone but i'm taking it a bit higher and i'm going to do this on the other side and i'll come back uh now if you see i have saffron on both my eyelids and basically at this stage i would just like to blend it eye shadow is all about blending they shouldn't be any harsh edges just go in circular motions and kind of blend that eye shadow now i'm going to take the same shade saffron on the same uh, brush i'm just going to drag it on the lower lash line so it kind of adds up over there so the color uh, below and above should kind of tie in and you just kind of drag it out like that so this is something like a one color eye shadow because i'm going for a wedding and um, i could dabble between any of these glittery shades um or this gold but i like to kind of play it a little subtly i mean i wouldn't say very subtly but i'm going with this uh, stila uh, shimmer and glow eye shadow this is how it looks it's in the shade uh, grace it comes like this um and you kind of apply this is basically it, it shimmers and glows and because it is a wedding and i'm going to do this even otherwise i do it not to worry you could blend it with your hand or you could go with a the brush these stila things kind of dry up pretty fast so you have you have to start working very quickly on this so that's how it looks
at the end of it if i want i can always add uh, more glitter and uh, because it's a wedding i'm just taking a little bit of this same shimmer and glow into my lower lash line just at the edges like this take uh, this pencil by makeup forever it's a black normal eye pencil i'm just going to draw my lower lash line and the next thing i i'm going to take is this uh, two faced uh, mascara so now i am applying mascara so this is pretty much how i do my makeup as far as my eyes are concerned for the next thing this is a highlighter this is by Estee Lauder and it is like you could go beneath your foundation mix it with your foundation or apply it on your bare face this is in the shade uh, champagne glow so what i will do and this is something because it is a wedding so i'm just going to dab i remember there is that tatcha dewy mist i mean the tatcha dewy uh, cream which is there so that's also there but this is like a highlighter it just kind of so i'm going to put this on the cheek and so drag it a little down to my cheeks as well so it doesn't look like a strip of highlighter but then i like to just drag it a little down the same thing i will just take it on my nose a little bit so you apply highlighter wherever you know the light catches so it's usually your nose the high point high points of your cheeks your temples and i'm not going to go crazy with temples i'm just going to uh, stick to this for now i'm using uh, something like this it's a uh, it's by kaja beauty and it's like a rubber stamp you just take it on and you go long and long and long uh, whatever I'm using today may not be all available in India but I'll definitely leave the list of products that I'm using in the description box below I'm just going a little heavy handed on the blush. Just drag, I usually drag my blush to the cheekbone. I kind of blend the highlighter and the and then I'll just kind of just dab a little bit of blush on the thing. I don't contour my nose but just to make sure that there's color it's not just pops of color on my cheeks i'll just kind of dab a little bit just on it it's just the excess which may be there on the hand just and now i'm going to do my lips i have two options i can go for a darker lip shade and uh, this is by anastasia beverly hills in the shade bohemian or i could go by um uh, jeffree star's lipstick in gemini so because I went pretty light handed on my eye, I'm going to try this lipstick. Uh, that's the Bohemian by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm sorry, but my camera kind of heated up. So I had to take a break. In that meanwhile, I didn't do anything other than apply my lipstick. And I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills in the shade Bohemian. And uh, this is how it looks it's pretty dark but i guess uh, with going for a wedding it it can it'll be a 
bit forgiving i guess the other option i thought of uh, the lip is more of a nude lip uh, in the shade uh, gemini by jeffree star but i think because i didn't go super ham on my eyes i can probably pull off this um we'll see how it kind of pairs with the outfit so this is the finished look and i've come with the uh, attire as well it's like a salwar kameez with a gold dupatta so i think the lip is pairing pretty well with the dress so let me know uh, how you like this video and uh, i'll see you don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever i upload a video okay bye bye